So this is a whole new look. I was, I, man, I, I didn't get them, but there's, there was a couple of birds flying. But you can see the palm trees and uh, just still more or less walking down a road. But uh, look at that dead tree back there. So uh, boy, I tell you, that, this is one awesome hike. I'll be back here just for getting exercise from time to time. It's a bit of a drive though from the villages to get here, you know, down 484. Uh, you know, but luckily I got that Prius Prime. Hey, by the way, I did hear that uh, they're predicting gas prices at $4 a gallon here in Florida by uh, Memorial Day. So uh, I've been telling you $6 a gallon. Well, they, they already hit my, well, they're hitting $7 a gallon in California. Don't worry, Biden's going to get them gas prices up no matter what. That's why, you know, I got the gas sipper because I, I could see what was coming. Plus, I wanted to be able to get out here and strike out on these hikes. You know, if you're getting... 22 miles to the gallon, you know, you're spending 10 bucks just to get out here to go hiking, you know. Whereas me, um, I, I bet, I don't know, I might have spent, spent a dollar. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's keep on going. That would be cool. Dang it, I didn't get him on the video. Guy just rode past me on, a, on an electric bike. Well, there he is. Can you see him off in the distance there? This would be fun. I mean, if you had to, if you wanted to get a, a mountain bike with an electric motor, you could do this trail. I mean, it, it, and wide tires. He had nice big tires on that thing. Uh, you know, I don't think, you know, that even if a ranger caught him, I mean, it's nice and quiet because it's an electric, uh, you know. But I wanted to show you. So we've come down that. And we're making, well, I'm going to make the right-hand turn. But you could go to the left here. Uh, once again, no horses beyond this point. I don't know why. Um, but, uh, but I kind of just want to, I'm going to keep making or stay on this road. This is this was the hike today, but uh, once again a nice transition. It really looked feels like deep in the forest. Uh, it was just neat seeing that guy on the electric bike. I was kind of envious. I said, "Man, because you know, I would love to bring my motorcycle back here, but you know, I, it, unless you got those big uh, mountain bike tires uh, I made for this, this uh, sandy, I would probably go over on the motorcycle like I have in the past when I get into the steep sand. But uh, plus, I you know that's a motor vehicle, so." You can't, can't bring, but that electric bike, an electric mountain bike, that's a, that'd be a good way to go if you just want to get out. I mean, the, the problem is no exercise. I mean, I don't know if you can just cut that electric motor off and then pedal for a while to get some exercise. Well, or you could always just take it back here, you know, put, hike it up into the woods a ways and uh, pray that nobody's hiking along like me. And, uh, you know, and then just go for a hike, you know, and get you some exercise that way. But that was cool. That was cool seeing that. All right, let's keep on going. Well, looky here. I'm not the only person in the universe that hikes this. These are footprints. I just know because I was looking at the deer tracks back there, and then I said, well, hell, hell, that's, a, that's a shoe print right there. So uh, so there are people that know about this, uh, other than the guy on the bike, of course. I haven't seen anybody all day. But, uh, yeah, see, there's another shoe print. So, yeah, somebody's somebody's been back here hiking besides me. That's cool. So we got a nice transition on the trail. I'm coming to the, the end of the day here. It's always, always sucks to have to turn around, you know, but uh, like I said, I got here too late. I, I would really like to have gotten here about noon and, uh, and just hike till about uh, six o'clock, you know. I hate that damn daylight savings time, it sucks. But uh, anyway, I, you know, sometimes I like to get a, a little bit on the video, you know, I, I don't know if uh, you were traveling for the, well, the holidays are still going, but, you know, all these uh, flights getting canceled. You know, I hope you, you understand why that happened. They keep trying to blame it on the virus and that people are out sick. No, people. United Airlines, and I think Delta did too, they forced the jab. They forced the jab on their employees. Told them if they didn't get the jab, they were going to lay them off. Well, a lot of them just refused to get the jab. And so that's why they're short-staffed. It has nothing to do with the virus. I mean, maybe, sorry, some people are out sick, but for the most part, and if you look at the, the flight records, you know, Southwest, they did not force the jab, I don't think. I'm not quite 100% sure about that, but I know that Southwest, if you notice, most of their flights, I think, if not all, are flying because they they treated their employees with respect and didn't force the jab on them, you know. So anyway, that's... Uh, that's just just my philosophy. But I wanted to show you this, uh, talk a little bit, and show you what the trail's looking like now. Now you're you're, you're feel like well you 
you're in the forest, man. <laughs> this is this is pretty cool. I mean, this is you know, growing up, this is uh, this is like what Virginia would look like, you know, in certain way without the uh, palm trees here. But uh, you know, you're you're way back here. Let me just uh, be quiet for just a second. And let you let you just enjoy a moment. Alrighty. Well, I'll wait till we see something, something new and different. You can see the sun's getting a little low. It will probably be dark before I get back. I'm trying to time it just right because, uh, you know, I'm trying to say, okay, an hour, hour and a half out, hour and a half back because I didn't think I don't think I got started till three. So uh, I'll check the time here in just a second. But uh, I guess probably about, um, well, 4:30 I'll have to turn around. Okay. Peace out. Stay free. Okay, so getting ready to turn around here shortly. But once again, see what I'm talking about? You can come back here and hike a gazillion. I mean, I you know, probably should just get a trail map. You know, this cuz it's got a 9 on the post. Uh no horses beyond this point. So, but I'm kind of I'm kind of going to stay to the right. Uh So, uh yeah, I'm looking at the the tree over here. One has horse bike and Thing and the other one has a hiker there. I guess you know. I don't. I don't understand it. So let's just go to the right, and maybe someday we'll come back and then go to the left here. Man, I'm, I'm telling you, I can just keep coming back here for days and days and days making videos. You know, it's insane. I, I love it. I mean, I love to having this resource nearby. I, you know, once again, I all the only person I've seen was the guy on that bicycle. Uh, he had an electric bike, uh, electric mountain bike, I should say. Uh, Cause you know this 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 is what I'm talking about. I mean, if you rode a even a mountain bike through that, you know that's going to be some tough riding. Uh, but that electric bike, that was really cool. That's a that would be a toy. If I didn't have my motorcycle, that would probably now that I've seen that, I never thought of it until today. Uh, that would be the thing I would I would replace the motorcycle with. Uh, you know, my reason for getting the motorcycle was I was going to let my wife drive the car, and then I would use the motorcycle whenever I needed transportation, you know, assuming the weather was cooperating to, while she, you know, she had the car and could get down to a one car family. But, you know, now that uh, I'm going through the divorce, that whole, uh, that whole reason for having the motorcycle, other than fun too, I mean, it's fun, um, is, is, is out the window. So at some point I'm, you know, I don't need a motorcycle and a car by myself, you know, so I may, uh, I may just end up selling the motorcycle and just keep the Prius Prime and I hate to do it, but uh, I should, I'm sure I'm going to need the money at some point. All right, let's, uh, let's keep on going. It's still a beautiful, beautiful hike. Uh, it's getting near 430. I'm going to check the time here in just a second. But look at the transition now. Kind of getting back into a pine forest. The sun's right there. It's, uh, I, I know for certain, unless I hike really fast, it's probably going to get dark on me before I get back. <clears throat> uh, just one more clip here. And uh, you can see it's uh, with that sun setting. This is quite beautiful. This is a whole different look. You're in a pine forest with uh, lots of, um, I forget what those doggone uh, bushes are called. But uh, yeah, I wanted to show you this. I mean, here's, a, here's another trail going off to the right. So man, you could just come back here and get yourself lost and uh, hike around for days and days and days. Who knows where that goes? I mean, this is a huge, huge area. But anyway, I wanted to get this on the video. I thought this was beautiful. So there's a turn that you would need hiking pants for, especially in the summertime, but uh, maybe not in the winter. I don't know how, how far that goes. I'm just keeping on this way because if we're gonna have to turn back, uh, I hate to say it, I would love to, I should've got, if I could've gotten here earlier, maybe, uh, you know, because uh, we're out about a, an hour and a half, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what it's like here in just a second uh, before I turn around. Let's just be quiet, and I'm just gonna let you listen to what I'm hearing.
Not a not a airplane engine, not a car. Just the birds chirping. Love it out here. So I'm gonna do do the mantra. I don't think I'm gonna get another transition uh, before the end of this video. So let's just do it. Freedom, oh freedom. Good to live in the free Republican state of Florida where we have no jab requirements, no lockdowns, no mask mandates, no vax mandates. We are free to come and do as we please and work where we want. And the whole damn world's moving to Florida under the great leadership, which I don't like the fact that the whole world, if you're a Democrat, go to California, go to New York, don't come to Florida. You don't want to be free here in Florida. You, you stay where you get your lockdowns. Make sure you get them jabs. You know, go get your booster to your booster to your booster for sure. And everybody stay safe and be free. Uh, just don't move to a free state and vote Democrat. That's all I got to say. All right. Peace out. Thought I'd get a clip of, I got a long ways to go. <laughs> That's why you don't want to get a late start. <laughs> it's going to definitely probably be dark by the time I get back. And uh, usually you don't want to be out here in, in the forest in the, in the dark. I know it to self. Maybe bring a headlamp next time. <laughs> All right, peace out. On my way back, look at the birds. Can you hear them? Look at that one right there. So what I'm saying, these hikes, you know, I love the I love the nature. They're, they're flying around. Another shot of the birds. Look at them, man. That's a whole bunch of birds. There's one, there goes one right there. This is cool, isn't it? Holy moly. I, you know, I'm on hikes. I don't think I've seen this many birds. I mean, they're flying around all at once. Look at them all. I feel like, uh, that, what's that movie? The Birds? I think that was the name of the movie. <laughs> so, look at them in that tree over there. Man, this is cool. All right. So I'm on my way back. This was, I saw it on the way out, I just didn't get it on the video. If you know what that is, leave a comment below. It's got big blades. Maybe it's for just turning up the, the ground. And I don't know why they would just leave it there like that, because, man, I know a lot of scrappers who would love to have that. I, I don't know how much money they get scrapping that metal, but uh, kind of weird just to find it out here in the middle of the woods. All right. There's the fence, so I know I'm going the right direction. That's why I just stayed straight today, because it was late. You know, on, a, on another day, you know, I wouldn't mind making some turns and trying to get lost back here when you got plenty of sunlight left. You know, it'll be dark by the time I get back. Isn't that beautiful? I love sunsets, especially when you're out here in the woods like that. Man, that, that's just, that's awesome, isn't it? Look around. Oh, man, I'll tell you, I'm enjoying this day. So I had more daylight than I thought I did. So I thought I'd just take a quick detour down this side road. Since I got the hiking pants on, you, know, you wouldn't want to do this in shorts for sure. I'll have to check myself for, for ticks and whatnot. But isn't that pretty? Kind of looking out over a field, you know, marshy field. If I get a if I get a real good view, I'll do a get the phone up way up in the air and uh, get a panoramic. But I just thought I'd just come down here a ways because uh, it doesn't matter at this point if it gets dark on me because I'm far enough back that because I'm right there. I just saw the uh, picnic table not too long ago. And uh, so, you know, I'll just go down. Oh, spider. <laughs> Thank God I had the phone in front of me. Yeah, I'm using the phone today instead of the GoPro. But uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, just thought I'd come down here just a little bit. Just show it to you. Hopefully we're going to get a shot over here. Well, see, there's some pooled water right there. You can see it's getting muddy here. I might have to turn back. All right. Yeah, this is... Uh, this is interesting. But, uh, hey, I think I'm going to be able to get a shot right up ahead. Well, no. That, see all the water across the trail? Yeah, I'll turn back at this point. All right, we'll head on to the car. Thought I'd get to this on the video. I'll be nice and quiet. You know what? Hold on. Let's get the phone up in the air. So I got this on the way out. But 
it wasn't with the sun setting like it is right now. So let's get the phone way up in the air and I'll walk along for just a bit. That's what I'm seeing. Oh. Here's a view of the sunset on the other side. Oh, damn it. There we go. Let's get it up in here. Another view of the sunset. Man, there's a real good view of the sunset right there. Right, I'm going to try to get this up so you can see them. They're right there. Thank God. <laughs> Cool, huh? All right, and then right up here, let me hike on up. I'm going to get another shot of the sunset. Hold on, I'll just cut it off for a second. Another view of the sunset. Final view of the sunset. I always like to promote future hikes. We're gonna hit that. We hit some of it with the dog, but I wanna see, we might be able to get to the end of that. I don't know how far the restoration area goes in this direction, but good. who knows? A little more of the sunset. Well, this is not good. Hopefully they're friendly. I guess we'll find out. I got the bear spray. Ooh, one of them was getting vicious. I don't know why people come out here with their dogs and do that shit. Here they come. Here they come. Idiots. <laughs> 